Hello everyone, hello my dear students. Here we go for the first lesson concerning chapter 2, light. Let us mention the concept of the electromagnetic waves. The electromagnetic waves is a transverse wave that can transfer and can travel through vacuum or through space. As shown, the magnetic field perpendicular to the electric field and moving in a third direction perpendicular to the direction of their propagation. The electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of propagation. The electromagnetic radiation or spectrum can be divided into radio waves, microwaves, infrared and the visible region, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. Moving in this direction, the frequency increases. This means that the radio waves has the least frequency while the gamma rays has the highest frequency. Contrary, the wave length increases in the opposite direction indicating that the gamma rays have the lowest wavelength and the radio waves has the highest wavelength. Keep in mind that the electromagnetic waves travels at constant speed in space which equals to 3 times 10 all to the power 8 meter per second. Light has a wave motion. In order to mention that light has a wave motion, four main conditions must be found. The first one is reflection, number two, refraction, three, interference, four, diffraction. Let's start with light reflection. If you have a reflecting surface, for example, a matter, and a light ray falls on this reflecting surface, of course, it will rebounce or reflect as shown. This is the instant light ray and this is the reflected light ray. This is an imaginary line drawn perpendicular to the direction of the plane of the reflecting surface. This is called the normal. The angle subtended between the instant light ray and the normal is called phi. The angle subtended between the normal line and the reflected line is called theta. This phi has no relation with the mathematical phi, which is the empty solution set. Phi here is a Latin letter, can be used like x, y, z, and so on. The condition for light reflection is that phi must equal theta. Also, the instant light ray, the reflected light ray, and the normal they all lie in one plane and intersect the reflecting surface at one point. If a light falls normal to the reflecting surface, what's gonna happen? This instant light ray is parallel to the normal. Although the light ray makes angle 90 with the reflecting surface, this does not mean that the angle of incident is 90, of course, but the angle of incidence is zero because the incident light ray is parallel to the normal and the angle of incidence is measured from the normal line, which is the subtendent angle between the incident light ray and the normal. So the red line, which is the incident light ray, is parallel to the dashed black line, which is the normal. This means that phi equals zero. Of course, theta must equal zero and the line will reflect on itself. To make it more advanced, if we have two matters like this, subtended angle between them is 30. This is the geometry of the construction or this is the geometry of the shape in front of you. If a light ray falls parallel to this matter, how can we complete the path of the light ray. The first thing you have to do is to draw the normal. Keep in mind that this normal is perpendicular to the mirror. And now let's join the fun with the geometry. This angle is 30. Of course, this will be 30. 30 degree according to the corresponding angle. This line is parallel to this, of course. 
while this angle is the angle of incidence which will be 90 minus 30 or the complementary angle of the 30 which is the 60 the angle 60 this is the angle of incidence the angle of reflection must equal also 60 to draw this you have to keep this in mind that this angle is an obtuse angle you don't have to draw the line in this direction you don't have to draw the line in that direction and now you have to draw the normal once more time but let us calculate the remaining angles this is 60 this must be 30 in this triangle the sum of angles or the sum of measures of the interior angles of triangle must equal 180 so this angle plus 30 plus 30 equals 180 of course this angle must equal 120 to complete the path of the ray you have to draw the normal at every point the light falls on a mirror and this you can draw this line to find the angles a little bit of concentration you'll find that this angle is 90 while that angle is 30 so the reflection takes place one more time in that way this angle is 30 um, what about this 90 equals 30 plus 60 then you can easily find this angle which is 90 this means that the light falls on this matter at this part with angle 0 so it will reflect back on itself and on rebouncing back the angles can be reversed like this the theta became phi and the phi became theta till the light goes back like this this will be the way the light falls and reflected through the mirrors that was all for the light reflection stay safe and thank you